Hey guys, what's up? What's going on? Hope you guys are all doing really good. Um, we are still on the Beatitudes. Today, we are going to go over the third Beatitude. Third Beatitude. So, um, without, without much further ado, let's just get into it. Alright, so, as I said, today is the third Beatitude. So the third Beatitude goes like this. It says, blessed, remember that all of the Beatitudes, all of the Beatitudes start with that word blessed. Blessed. And if you can think about it really quick right now, what do you think blessed means? Do you remember what blessed means? Blessed means holy, holy. So we're talking about holiness, holy, and holy means to be like God. So, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. So let's start with the first part. Blessed are the meek. Okay, so, now, you first graders, I'm not sure if you know what the word meek means. So that's why we're going to break it down really quick and explain it. So, meek. Someone who's meek is someone who is really humble. Okay, so now you might think, okay, that's great, but what does the word humble mean? So, humble um, is someone who always puts other people first. Someone who is meek, who is humble, um, will always put other people first and will always want to love people first. So for instance, an example of this would be, say, say you as a first grader are back at school, even though we're not at school, and it's not your turn to be first in line. You're like, ugh, because you wanted to be first in line, which is normal. A lot of us want that, want to be first in line. But a humble person or a meek person doesn't want to always be first. Instead, a humble person would be happy that someone else got to go first. Instead of thinking how they didn't get to go first, they would be like, hmm, well, I'm happy for that other friend, I'm happy for that other first grader that they got to go first in line. So, our best example of someone who is meek or humble is Jesus. Because when Jesus was on earth, um, he would heal people, he forgave people their sins, which means that even though those people kind of hurt him, because when we sin, we hurt Jesus, we hurt God, he forgave them. He didn't hold it against them, he forgave them their sins. So Jesus is someone who was really humble. He put other people first. And last thing that I'll say is that humble people um, don't always want their own way. So someone who's meek, who's humble, doesn't always insist that, that we need to do it this way because it's the way I want to do it. A humble person would say, well, I want to do it a different way but it's okay that you want to do it that way. And maybe this time we should just do it your way. So those are some examples of people being humble, meek people. Okay, the last part of this beatitude is, so blessed are the meek, then it says, for they shall inherit the earth. Now this one just means that if you're someone who's meek, who's humble, um, then, so you shall um, receive God's life here on earth. So God's life in us is grace, right? Um, little triangle, grace is, our, grace is represented by a triangle. So we all have little triangles in us, God's grace in us. And um, this last part just means that if you are meek, you shall inherit God's life on earth, which is his grace. And it also means that you shall inherit God's life in heaven. So you'll have God's life here on earth, 
and God's life helps us to be happy, helps us to be holy, and you'll have it in heaven. All right, so that's, that's this beatitude. Now, what I've done for you guys, I've put together a quick video, real quick, that helps illustrate this. I'm going to show you guys this next clip, um, and in it, I'm going to ask you a question about how someone should respond in a meek way to a situation. So let's watch that clip, see how you guys do. On this lovely, beautiful day, Miss G is getting ready to kick a kickball. Let's see what happens to Miss G. Oh my, it seems that Miss G has taken quite a nasty fall. Now, someone comes along and sees that Miss G has fallen. If she wanted to be meek and humble, should she A. Laugh at Miss G <laughs> Or should she B. Help Miss G get up Are you okay? Alrighty, so I hope you guys figured out that the correct answer to that situation was B. So B, Casey did right when she helped me up. And instead of mocking me, she was a friend to me. She helped me up. So um, what I want you guys to do for this lesson, um, I want you to think kind of hard. Think about it. And I want you to think of someone in your life who you know is meek. So how, how do I know someone's meek? Well, someone is acting meek or humble when they help you with your homework. Even if they have other things they could be doing, but they take time out of their day to help you with their homework. That's someone who's being meek, who's being humble. Um, another example, someone who um, takes time out of their day to play with you. Um, even though they might have other things they might want to do, they're um, taking their time to play with you and have a fun time with you. So that, that would be someone who's being meek, who's putting other people first. Um, another example of someone, this might directly be like your mom or your dad um, or someone else in the family, but it, uh, someone who provides food for you, who works, so that you can have food, so that you can eat. Um, that's an example of someone being meek. They're being humble. They're putting other people first and they're sacrificing. They're doing hard things to make sure that you guys are fed and happy and safe. So I want, I want you guys to think of someone in your house or maybe someone outside of your house um, who is meek who is a good example of being meek. And then I want you to draw a picture of that person. So draw a picture of that person who is meek. And then underneath your picture, I would like, let's see, I would like at least one sentence, two maybe, um, or three. I know some of you guys could write three. So um, sentences, on why this person is meek. So for example, you could say, I'll write it down here, my mom is meek because, because, my mom is meek because she Because she what? Because she helps me with my homework. Because she does the dishes for me. Um, other things like that. And then, so when you draw your picture, you could just draw your mom. 
I don't know what your mom would look like. Smiley face. Um, or you could also draw your mom doing, actually, let's do this. Let's have you draw a picture of your mom and match your sentence. So if you say, my mom is meek because she help, she does the dishes, then you need to draw your mom doing the dishes. Okay? All right. Hopefully that's clear enough. And you guys can, of course, use Class Dojo. Uh, show me a video of your drawing and your sentence or your two sentences or your three sentences um, beneath it. Show that to me on Class Dojo in a video and I would be so grateful. Um, I'm excited to see what you guys come up with, who you guys think of, that you know that is meek. So, all right. Uh, thank you guys for this video. Thank you for tuning in. Um, if you have any questions about it, please feel free to let me know. Please message me um, on Class Dojo. And that, that's all I've got for you today. So we're gonna tune in again on Friday. Uh, thank you so much. Bye guys.